Welcome, in today's video tutorial we will be designing an automatic face selector panel. This can be used in households and industries for auto face selector between three faces. This, this video shows how we build the panel from scratch, test it to be working and proceeded to install it on site where it was needed. Ensure you watch until the end to know everything there is to know about this design. Without further ado. Now, let's get to it. Kindly take a moment to like, share our video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. This will encourage us to make more videos like this one in the future. For an in-depth knowledge and understanding of this schematic diagram, kindly refer to the link in the description below. Follow the blog post for more detailed explanation. Now, let us move to the wiring and connection of this schematic diagram. a different set of wire for the power side. The size wire gauge was 10 mm square. For the control wire we used 1.5 mm. We needed the cable lock to terminate the cables at the terminal points of the contactors and breakers. Before termination was made we ensured each power cable was well logged in its phase it represented labeled with color cable shrink tube. For the yellow phase for example, we used the yellow shrink tube to label all the power cables in their connections. See the blog post in the description below to get more details about this connections. We also needed to connect the control cable that will be responsible changing which power line should be switched to for output. Part of the control was to ensure that the switch or energizing of the coil of each contactor was done using a smaller AC relay. This would make sure that there won't be arching by the contactors themselves. The adjustable voltage protector devices were connected to each phase or line to ensure that the output voltage met the required parameters before switching. the auxiliary contactors to do some of the switch that is required. These are placed on the contactors and connected to their respective terminals as drawn in the schematic diagram. Next, on this is the cable management. 
Since the wiring was done, it was time to use cable ties to secure the wiring neatly and safely. We went about this judiciously and ensured the whole thing was done neatly. The trunk here served as a pathway for the, the cables. We neatly embedded them here and we will use the top side of the trunk to cover it once we were done. Next, we connect the pilot lamps and voltmeters. The connections were wired according to the schematic diagram. We voltmeters were digital voltmeters that will display the output voltage on each phase while pilot lamps were to show indications of input phase voltage sources. The emergency button will cut off neutral line once jammed in the case of emergency. Now, let us check to ensure that all the connections were made correctly. To do this, we take a step back and survey the panel from a bird's eye view. This will show us that all the connections have been done with neatness and accuracy. Labeling the panel is also very important, it will tell the users and the electricians in the future who to expect and what to look out for. Also, should there be a need to diagnose future fault, ones can easily know where to start from. We took time to print and label each part on the panel and inside the panel judiciously. So it has chosen the line one output, which is the primary. So when the line one output is not available, it's going to select. It's going to select the line two output. So come this way. Put put line one out. Now put line one out. Let's see how it works. Instantly to go to line 2, the output will remain the same. Put line 2 out, let's see what happens. To go to line 3 immediately. So, put line 3 out. So everything will go off. So, turn on line 3.
this is because I need to stop it for any reason. Output transcript: 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 Output transc